For hundreds of years, dolls' houses have been hot property. At first, they were built to entertain the children of the wealthy, but eventually, mass production made these mini mansions widely available. Today, they continue to be great places for childhood fantasies to reside. Any home building project is all about the details, but the details don't get much smaller than this. These dolls' houses are miniature versions of actual homes, made to scale. A large sheet of plywood is sliced into smaller pieces. For a consistently accurate job, a saw guide is used, which positions the wood for a specific cut. There's a different guide for each part. Using a hot iron, the company name is branded onto one of the foundation pieces. This doll's house will be sold as a kit. Here's a demonstration of how it should be put together. Back on the production line, the siding is being milled. This machine cuts furrows in wooden panels. This beveled effect mimics the exterior woodwork found on some houses. Next. Holes for the windows and doors are cut using a router. And now the walls go up. Because this is a kit, each piece has to be a perfect fit. The first floor is installed. And taped with masking tape while the glue dries. And now for the second story. It can take up to 100 hours to paint and assemble all the parts in a doll's house kit, depending on how elaborate the design is. Next, they raise the roof. This Victorian design has a two-part roof with a tower in the middle. Weight is added to apply pressure while the glue dries. This machine's protective cover has been temporarily removed to show its inner workings. A piece of pine is carefully fed in. It cuts the board into shingles, which fall into a bin below. Once the shingles are stained, they are hot glued to the roof, following a grid that was penciled on in advance. The roof is wrapped with tape to stabilize it while the glue dries. Back in the factory. Four cutting wheels shape a piece of pine into mouldings that will be used for trim on various models. The door now goes on. It's been trimmed with some of the mouldings we just saw being made. The windows also use mouldings details. All this trim has been made on the same machine. Using different cutters for the different profiles. This railing is a nice touch, and it will also provide support for the structure. All that's left is the interior decorating. Some people spend a small fortune on this stuff. Tiny toilets, chairs, even full kitchens in miniature. In this model of the home of Abraham Lincoln, the details are historically accurate. The pieces are packed carefully. Soon they'll make some child's dream of owning their own home come true. But first, somebody had better read the instructions.